What's up, YouTube? Sean, let's leave over dummies. Um, the video I just did, ball bearing versus regulator. I spoke of, whoops, <laughs> of uh, <clears throat> streamlining this regulator a little bit. Now, it's not quite there, and I'll give you the breakdown on why. So, this is your regulator adjustment. It threads out, okay. And this is what you'd find inside. This brass cone point sort of, I don't know what you'd call that. Almost like a set screw, but it's a cone point. It has a cone on it, uh, which coincides with a little divot that's inside there that presses on the discs. Um, so there's a little locking screw on the side. I just undid it and pulled this cap off to find this. And what would you know? You know what fits here? That's also a cone point. That is a velocity adjuster from the M17. Um, there you go. So it threads in. Uh, this is off in its current state, so I haven't adjusted this yet. I'll do that quickly on video here, uh, whether it'll be successful in the short video this will be, I don't know. Um, the other problem I ran into was, um, this was where the gauge was here, in this port. This gauge is M10. M10 is straight thread. Uh, so this gauge kind of, you know, it bottomed out quite a ways. Um, it was Loctited to hell, and I pretty much destroyed it, taking it off, the glass cracked, this thing was not coming off. I, I probably could have heated it, but whatever. This is this is a cheap rig anyways. Um, so a 1-8 NPT would not fit in this. It does fit, but it sticks out crazy. The only M10 straight thread I had are these, is one of these bleed down screws. So for the time being, until I get some M10 plugs, I'm just going to run it like this. There you go. Um, it's a little better. It could be better without this thing here. Uh, and depending on how far I have to adjust this, this might end up flush. I hope it ends up flush. That would be great. Then all I'd have to deal with is this contraption over here, which should be pretty easy. So let's go test it. I don't have many 16 gram left, um, so I'm just gonna do this, see if I can't get it going good on the first try. So I've got my uh, bleed down closed. This set screw here, when it's not, when it's loose, uh, the regulator is in the off position. So I'm just gonna leave it loose. <clears throat> I'm gonna charge the marker well. I'm gonna charge the regulator. I got 9.9 .9 gram ride balls in here. <clears throat> you can hear nothing, no noises. That's because it is off. Um, two and a half millimeter, I think. Oh, it's a three. Allen key. So when this clicks on, so you're gonna hear the bolt charge. When it clicks on, I'm gonna do one full turn and then we'll just shoot one round and see where it is. Hear that, clicked. So I'm gonna go one full turn. Heard a little weep out of this thing. I don't trust this thing for CO2. This isn't one of the better ones that I have, but it's all I have. Um, okay, chrono it. See where we're at. Two seventy-two. All right. Now, if I average. 
272 over the whole mag, that'd be pretty good. Oh, a little hotter, 288. Two eighty-eight. That looks like where it wants to be. Two eighty-six. Two eighty-six. Oh my God! Two eighty-six. Sometimes. Two seventy-eight. I think that was the last one, guys. It was. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah. Impressive. Okay. Forget the ball bearings. I'm going to continue messing with this regular. And uh, it's too bad. It's just a hair too tall. Um, these cone points aren't that common, but clearly, obviously, well, if you got an M17, you have one. <sighs> so what will I do with that? Maybe I could grind it off. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it. What I don't want is to snag on something and possibly adjust my velocity outside of the window that I've set it in. There's a lot of CO2 left in there. Pardon me. I should have. I should have fired a 10 rounder. Damn. Okay, guys. Well, quick and dirty, short and sweet. Catch you on the next one.